number 10. So most kids are lucky to have a normal swing set in their house growing up, but this, well, this is on a whole new level. I mean, this swing goes a full 360 degrees, so you can go all the way around. The only question is if you're brave enough. Like there's no seatbelt or harness, all you can do is hold on tight. But if you're not scared of being completely upside down, about as high as a rooftop, then that shouldn't be a problem. Bit of a push up. Lift up with my knees. Hang on. <laughs> get in there, get in there. They want peace instead of wars. Only in a perfect world. Money is never the reason. Yeah. Only in a perfect world. If you believe in political justice. Number nine. Tons of people like to brag about having cool grandparents, but I don't think anyone has a cooler grandpa than this kid. Like seriously, this guy started building his granddaughter a roller coaster in his backyard the second he knew she was on the way, but that was only the beginning. Now she has a complete carnival to play on with a roller coaster, a Ferris wheel, and even a freaking carousel. The best part is she lives right next door, so she can run around and play anytime she wants. With that said, I have no idea what he's going to get her for Christmas, because her birthday presents so far have been pretty hard to beat. The rattling of the tracks, the whoosh of the car. If you listen closely, what you hear on this ride is love. Yeah, when I was little, Papa always wanted this, but I couldn't have her had none of this. Jimmy White made an amusement park in his backyard, a Ferris wheel, a carousel, and yes, a roller coaster, all built from scrap parts and all for his first grandchild, Sophia. Are you picking to be three? Three? Yeah. No way! <laughs> the coaster track is PVC, the supports wood and cement. I just kind of started and let the PVC pipe flow. It starts from a second floor deck and loops, the car locked onto the track. I kind of seen, seen it on TV, you know, roller coaster there, just gravity fed. I said, well, I got something high here, I can do it. So I did it. Number eight. So most carnival rides look super complicated, but it turns out if you have a big enough backyard and some serious determination, they're not too difficult to recreate at home. I mean, this guy managed to recreate a whole spinning carousel with just some spare metal and an old trailer to mount it on. Like it doesn't go super fast and it's mostly powered by hand, but I mean, let's be real here. It definitely beats just having like an empty lawn, right? I made a backyard carnival ride, a swing ride for my children. Uh, it's mounted on a trailer. Uh, there's five uh, seats welded up in steel uh, with safety uh, chains to keep them in there, good and, and safe. Number seven. Being obsessed with monorails might not sound like the most exciting hobby in the world, but it led to this guy creating something so awesome in his own home. Like as a kid, he would sketch monorail ideas all the time, and he even started collecting monorail themed souvenirs when he grew up. But after a while, that just wasn't enough. That's when he finally started working on his own project and ended up with a 300 foot long monorail around his own home, circling past his upstairs windows and making his lifelong dream come true. Kim climbs on board, and with a flick of the switch, the Niles monorail comes to life. Leaving the station, the train makes its way toward the back of the yard. Leaving through the trees, everything seems to be working well. Crossing the final few feet of track, the homemade monorail successfully completes its first trip around Kim's backyard. And although Kim is thrilled with his new ride, he's already focused on making a bigger and better model. Number six. Now, what I really like about this story is that this guy had no experience designing or building roller coasters. He just woke up one day and wanted to build something cool. Now for the rest of us, maybe we end up with like the worst slide ever that breaks a day after, but this guy built a full on metal roller coaster and it looks insane. 
Like he built the whole thing out of scrap metal he collected. And even though it was an insane amount of work, he even built a smaller one just 10 years later for younger people. The fact that the big one has an upside down loop and it's all homemade is so cool. Well, let me know by leaving a comment down below if you'd ride it or chicken out. I mean, I'd definitely go on it in a heartbeat, but let me know down in the comments. Go, 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 go. He built a backyard roller coaster. Let her rip. Called the Blue Flash. I've had truck drivers come here and ask me what. Get my hat on tight. You know, what was in that yard up the road? Get ready. Oh, it's a roller coaster. <laughs> You know, there's lots of good engineers that design roller coasters, big coasters. Yeehaw! But not in their backyard, you know. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Without any prior experience, he collected and then welded scrap metal. Here we go, over the top. Into a 24-second thrill ride. This is the uh, downhill... Downhill drop. I have heard about it. The helix part of the ride is, is, is basically a... Number five. This guy's promotional video might be a little bit goofy, but I've gotta be honest, what he's managed to build looks totally awesome. He calls it the Gyrotron, which is basically a giant human gyroscope that you can easily control. I mean, yeah, it does look a little silly, but who doesn't love spinning upside down as fast as you could possibly go? Even better, if you start feeling a little sick or dizzy, don't worry, because all you have to do if you wanna slow things down is just stand up. I gotta admit, this is kind of genius because apparently he rents these things out at parties and events, which would definitely spice things up. Easy, nice and easy. And bending your knees brings you to a stop. Or if I stand up and lean, I can go anywhere I wanna go. Like here, or here. Fast, slow, it's all up to you. See, I do it a little hard, but you can do it as soft Number four. Now for most kids, having a pool in your backyard is already super cool, but this family decided to take things one step further. How? Well, they added a slide, of course, but they didn't just drive to the nearest store and pick one up. Instead, they actually built the whole thing themselves and ended up with a huge slide that starts all the way back at their house. Not just that, but it lets you gather some serious speed because it's so steep and long, making it way better than some little like kitty slide you could buy at Walmart. All right, hang on, everybody out of the way. Everybody out of the way, go! Number three. Now this coaster may look totally adorable, but don't be fooled. The speed it kicks out when it's going full throttle is no joke. Like considering the whole thing was handmade out of steel and wood, the sharp turns and mini ramps it includes are super impressive, not to mention the drop. Even better, it looks like it's been built around like some sort of climbing frame complete with its own slide. So if you ever manage to get sick of the coaster itself, the ride doesn't have to end there. Pretty cool, right? Number two, if the last 360 slide we showed you looked awesome, but just a little bit too terrifying, then don't worry, this is probably the perfect backyard ride for you. I mean, it's still a ride that flips you upside down 30 feet up in the air, so it's not exactly relaxing, but this one adds feet and hand straps that make it even safer than a trampoline. Not just that, the counterweights that drive the movement can also be adjusted, meaning you could use it as like a cute little carnival ride or even as a hardcore workout. With that said, I can totally see this ride being Puke City, but hey, doesn't make it any less fun. Number one, you might think homemade coasters are some sort of like modern fad, but let me tell you, they've been around a lot longer than you might think. I mean, the Termite is one of the most famous backyard rides ever created, and people were talking about it way back in 1989. 
This roller coaster started out small, but ended up dropping off the actual roof of the house and was so much fun that it even ended up in National Geographic. Definitely really cool, but uh, I don't know if putting a baby on this thing was a good idea. Thank you. 